amazing things happen when we work together to overcome our problems. We're able to increase economic development, meet regulations, build better streets and roads, update aging infrastructure, and stretch budgets. Hi, I'm Sam Clausen. Together, we're tackling real-world problems. Together, we're better. Together, we're building a better world for all of us. And here's how. Economic development. 93% of mayors say it's a top priority, but how do you make it happen? In Aurora, Colorado, they're protecting economic development along a business corridor. It started with a feasibility study and included channel improvements to address flooding and a new trail. It ends with an area ripe for development. Every day I drive through here, I see folks using that regional trail. It's been such an important part for the redevelopment of this area in the northwest Aurora. It has been very satisfying to see how it's kick-starting some of the other development in the area. When does 6,000 plus feet of asphalt impact the economy? When it's an airport runway. In Wyoming, a local economy pivots around uninterrupted access to Jackson Hole Airport. When they needed to repave their runway, the reconstruction was carefully phased to reduce interruption to airport operations. This airport serves 300,000 passengers a year, and ultimately, the local economy. Jackson Hole Airport, it is the economic driver for the entire valley. I mean, you get off your plane, you look to the west, and you have some of the best fishing, best game in the world. I think for one day that this runway is out, the anticipated revenue losses are in the hundreds of thousands. New or changing regulations are a challenge for many projects, but there's always a way forward. In Detroit Lakes, Minnesota, stringent phosphorus regulations are influencing plans for new wastewater facilities. The challenge? Reduce the phosphorus content of wastewater effluent by 93% to protect area lakes. I believe we're going to have probably the most stringent phosphorus limit in the state of Minnesota. The city hired SEH to create a facility plan and to look at our best options. For many, many years, we're going to have capacity to facilitate growth in the city, and we want to be great stewards. We want to do what's best for the lake quality. We also want to make sure that what we're doing makes sense for the ratepayers from Detroit Lakes. Along the shores of Lake Michigan near Milwaukee, Wisconsin, a $60 million housing development can move forward after wetland permitting caused construction delays. SEH helped accelerate the wetland permitting process and secured federal and U.S. Army Corps of Engineer approvals to reduce the amount of wetland mitigation credits. Our client had to get a wetland permit for this site. It resulted in a number of delays for construction and then also costs. We sped up the permitting process they have all of their permits to start construction and build 300 high-end apartments at this site, and it's a $60 million project that will bring significant tax base to this community. How are you designing streets and roads for the future? Innovation and persistence are a must. Following a traffic study conducted by SEH, the city of Centennial, Colorado, is planning to use an innovative continuous flow intersection to manage congestion in a high traffic area. Drivers waiting to make a left turn won't cause a traffic backup. The result? Less congestion, happier drivers. It was the first time that we had looked at uh, any kind of non-traditional intersection solution. The idea behind that intersection is to take left turning vehicles out of the intersection and force them to turn left previous to the intersection. I'm really excited to see this go in here to see how they help the community, how they relieve congestion, how they make the roadway safer. In St. Paul, Minnesota, preparing roads for the future means accommodating bicyclists and pedestrians along a 27-mile route called the Grand Round. It's a project over 125 years in the making. It's really one of the most beautiful streetscapes in our city, but it's hard to be a pedestrian or to be a person who's riding on a bike on this area. Certainly one of the aspects of building out the bicycle infrastructure is to make sure that kids do have safe bike routes. At least three kids said, oh my gosh, now I get to bike to school. And I thought my heart was going to explode because that's exactly what we wanted to hear people say. It's like, wow, I can get there now. Aging infrastructure. Should you repair or replace? Sometimes you do both. 
In southern Minnesota, a historic 148-foot-long truss bridge needed updating to meet new load requirements and keep people safe. Rather than completely replace the bridge, the community found a solution to set the old truss bridge on top of new support beams. They updated infrastructure while honoring their past. This is probably the best example of everyone coming together to work on a problem and working together to come out with a solution. To be able to provide a bridge that serves legal loads and farm to market traffic in the heartland is, was critical. The feeling from the motor's perspective is that they're going across the truss bridge even though the load is being carried strictly by the new beams. I said to one of my colleagues, I said, you know what, we did the right thing here. <laughs> In the city of Madison, Wisconsin, they needed to replace an aging water tower without increasing its footprint. The solution? A 1.3 million gallon dual reservoir tower. The first in Wisconsin and one of just a few in the nation. Now with 23 times more storage, the community and nearby fire department have better service. This water, the original water tower was built in the 30s and it was uh, vastly undersized, it's 55,000 gallons. So in the end, I mean, if we were going to build a, an elevated tank for elevated storage, we had to basically do it in one structure. So it's been interesting to see it go from the drawing stage up to the actual construction. It's been quite an adventure. Your number one challenge? Adequate budgets for your projects. The right partnerships can make it easier. The city of Hobart, Indiana wanted to reduce flooding, but they didn't have the financial resources they needed to complete all their projects. Then, after a water modeling study and report created by SEH, the Local Development Commission helped fund many of the projects. One result of the report? Hobart is getting two bridges for the price of one. Hobart is like any other community where we have very limited resources and incredible needs. We wanted to do something uh, it's just a matter of time before we have another storm. They didn't have the financial resources. We did have the financial resources. We couldn't have done this without the funding support from the commission. There's probably more than three quarters of the watershed drains through Hobart. So every other community upstream has an interest in making sure that the water gets through in a, in a way that doesn't affect anyone downstream in those communities, but also doesn't back up on themselves. In Kakana, Wisconsin, they needed a new library but didn't have the budget. When SEH discovered available space in a redeveloped historic building, the solution was simple. Design the new community library within it. By partnering with the developer and sharing a roof, the city saved millions. The popular new library has seen a boost in circulation. Every solution we came up with to add square footage was a cost issue. And so working with this developer on this public-private partnership project allowed the city to occupy the space that they needed and not have the huge outlay of cash. And we wanted this to be a 21st century library in an 18th century building. Some people are just, just, just amazed. It's very much the community's library. We can't help our clients solve these challenges without talented people. Our clients told us that our employees are our greatest strength. Together, we're solving the world's challenges. Together, we're better. Together, we're building a better world for all of us.